Salut à tous, merci de rejoindre Acoustique au cœur d'un événement planétaire car nous sommes aujourd'hui à Bercy à quelques minutes du coup d'envoi d'un concert qui va marquer la vaste tournée mondiale livrée par l'un des derniers dinosaures de la musique rock internationale. Il nous convie dans quelques instants dans les coulisses du Palais Omnisport de Bercy. En toute simplicité, merci de nous accompagner en Acoustique avec un autre micro, Monsieur David Bowie. Salut à tous, merci de rejoindre Acoustique pour une émission exceptionnelle à la rencontre de l'une des plus grandes légendes du rock international. David Bowie est avec nous. Nous sommes avec David Bowie. Hi David. Hello. Uh, my first question would be, do you speak some French few words? Est-ce que vous parlez un uh, peu français? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I do maybe, but only in private. OK, seulement en privé. Uh, C'est un vrai plaisir. It's a great honor, great pleasure for us to have you on this program today. So uh, you'll be touring all over the world and you will play eight times. Uh, you will give eight performances in, uh, in France. That's correct, yes. Yeah. This is certainly one of the biggest tours that you are giving to the world since uh, 1995. Yeah. Why eight uh, performances in France? Uh, was it just because you, you were missing the French audience that way? We've always had a, a really good reception in, uh, in France. It's always been uh, very welcoming to us and uh, the music that we do. Um, because this tour is a very extensive tour, we just felt, I think, ratio per country we are doing more more cities per country you know and uh, as france is such a big part of our audience it seemed right to do it you know at least six or seven so we, we got through to eight which is great i'm very happy about that alors toujours un accueil chaleureux bien sûr du public français ce qui légitime un peu ces, ces nombreux concerts inédits en tout cas pour la France uh, You've been working for something like maybe for more than 12 albums with Tony Visconti Is it yeah. uh, just a question of friendship or for you uh, uh, one of the key of success? It does seem that when we work together there seems to be a, a kind of a chemistry between us that I don't find with very well virtually no other producers uh, I've never really been able to identify what it is but it has something to do with uh, a lack of uh, judgment on his part uh, he, he sort of allows me to uh, go with my head about what I want to do and he never sort of tells me this can't be done or that can't be done you know so it's uh, uh, I feel uh, that I have a lot of liberty with him which is good David Bowie tourne dans le monde entier à la faveur de la sortie de son 26e album, l'Asie, l'Amérique, l'Europe, au cœur de laquelle, bien sûr, des dates françaises. Nous sommes ici à Bercy où vous nous accueillez. Uh, how do you feel just a few minutes before going on stage? I kind of feel like I'm going to have fun. I, I don't really get nervous. I, I just feel like I want to have fun. Uh, I think my whole band feels pretty much like that. I, I don't think we suffer from nerves. We know we're good. <laughs> is that immodest? Yeah. Uh, but we know our show is really good, you know, and uh, we know the music that we play on it is pretty diverse. It's not just big hits, you know. Well, I do I do at least uh, half a dozen, six numbers or so that everybody knows. But an awful lot of what we do are just our own personal favorites. So it's not the easiest show in that way, you know. It's, it's uh, the audience have to work a little bit. But that makes it, I think, by the end, in a way, a much more satisfying show, because it's not like fast food. Just say 
Nutrition keeps on the dead hair, making up on the web. David Bowie en acoustique euh, au cœur de Bercy, au cœur d'une tournée mondiale qui accompagne la sortie du dernier album, le 26e de la longue saga florissante, on l'espère encore, Reality, le nom de cet album. Euh, on, on a écouté cet album et on sent plusieurs influences. We're listening to this, uh, this tracks, we hear some jazz influences, uh, uh, pop, rock, of course, yeah. flamenco. Uh, yeah. Is it a kind of a summary of your main <coughs> musical sources of influence? I think it's hard for me now to know exactly, even, it's even harder the older I get to know exactly what my style is because uh, I guess over the years I've worked in so many different kinds of areas. Uh, so again, now I just don't question it uh, until I finished an album and then look back at it and start to analyze it and, and realize how many styles I utilize. But at the time, it doesn't occur to me they're all different styles that I It's all just songs, it's just pieces of music that we create in the studio, you know. David Bowie donne très peu d'interviews, ce qui euh, emplit notre cœur d'estime à nouveau pour, pour votre présence ici. Euh, ce 26e album s'inscrit dans une, dans une longue lignée. Euh, vous êtes l'un des artistes les plus connus au monde. You're one of the most famous artists in our world. So, how is it possible to be as famous as you are and to keep connected with the, the, the common people? 
uh, the I'm, common I'm just, people. I'm just asking you this question because hash, Hashes to Hashes is my favorite song. That's why I'm asking. We're doing you. it tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. So is um, it possible to be as famous well, you as know, you are? I think uh, it's, uh, uh, I guess it's called a lifestyle decision, but you know, I don't, neither myself nor my wife particularly have a yearning to live in a kind of a Hollywood way, you know. We don't, uh, we live in New York, which is a really a very down-to-earth city. I mean, it's not, it's hard to be kind of uh, uh, glamorous in New York in quite that way, you know, especially in the way, where we live, which is downtown, which is more bohemian, I guess, you know, than anything. Neither of us would like a, a Hollywood-type existence, so we don't, we don't play that game very much. We live very, a very normal kind of life. Uh, when I'm not working, I'm very low profile. I don't go out much to, you know, photograph places. Um, so I just think we try and keep the, uh, try and keep the uh, earth beneath our feet and not really, we don't, we don't have ambitions to be Hollywoody. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs>
acoustique dans les coulisses d'un concert livré au cœur d'une vaste tournée qui accompagne donc la sortie du 26e album de David Bowie. Nous avons parlé bien sûr de, de la place que vous occupez dans le monde entier. Uh, you are a kind of uh, icon, uh, role model, as uh, some people say. A McDonald's. So, <laughs> yes. So are, are you impressed or no. do, do you feel something special? Uh, how do you feel about this? Well, that, that, I, to, I to, guess... Uh, to be able to influence people. Ah, now that's different. I think uh, musically it's always very uh, rewarding. If I can hear maybe uh, elements of things that I've done in the past appear in other people's music, that makes me very happy because you feel that you have had something worthwhile saying and that it's, it's changed the vocabulary of, of the art form that you've chosen to have as your career or your life. Um, so that kind of, that kind of uh, influence is very rewarding, for, I think, for a writer, you know, for a composer or whatever. Um, but the icon side of it, uh, I can do without. I, I, <laughs> I don't need that. Alors, vous avez offert un concert pour quelques happy few. You started uh, an, on, in September in London with a, a, a concert event for yeah. 400 happy few that you invited. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the, this event was broadcasted through the whole world uh, in uh, 22 countries yeah. by computer. So yeah, how did you come up with uh, this idea? It was, I've got to be honest, it was actually uh, the company that I released my records through Sony. It was their idea. They really wanted to do something like that. And I was very keen to Uh, not turn it down. It sounded like a really quite exciting idea. And I was glad that we did it. I can see a future in it. Um, obviously, there has to be a far more cinemas that actually have the technical facilities to be able to receive that kind of picture um, instantaneously. And, I th and obviously, I think the expense of setting it up has to come way, way, way down before it can become a probability. But I was suspecting not too many years It may be an interesting way for some artists to actually do touring. They, they reduce the tour and play 10 shows from each one show, you know? And you could probably hit a lot more places that way. Little towns that maybe couldn't afford to have a U2 play in that town, because they've only got a couple of thousand people in there, but actually could get to see the show live at their local cinema. That makes sense, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. It really feels like part of the future, yeah. I think. Fly. 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 
Acoustique au cœur de l'événement, à Bercy, au cœur de la tournée qui accompagne la sortie du 26e album de David Bowie. Pour quelques secondes encore, euh, votre lien euh, avec l'Afrique s'incarne à travers votre épouse. Uh, we were talking about uh, your link with Africa. So what do you know about this place of the world? Do you know about the music, the, the musicians? I know a little. Um, I don't think that it's really particularly... Uh, um being part of my music so much. I have a very good friend in uh, America, uh, David Byrne, who works with a band called Talking Heads. He was terribly influenced by, uh, I think it was West African music, more than anything else. King Ade, I think, and all that. Sunny. And, uh, but for me, I know, the, I know the country reasonably. I mean, more in the 70s and the 80s, I used to go to East Africa a lot. Uh, Tanzania and uh, uh, Kenya. And uh, I had a very strong feeling for the country. I liked it very much. And then the first time I went to South Africa, because for obvious reasons, I never went to South Africa for many years. Um, but then 1992, just after Nelson came into power, um, my wife and I went over and had the very good fortune to meet him and spend time with him. And, and spent some time in South Africa, which we adored. We loved very much indeed. So everybody knows this song? I went to song. see the... Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're welcome. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is my last question. Uh, everybody knows this song uh, from Sting, Englishman in New York. Are you <laughs> sure he made this song for himself or for, for you? For oh, I, for definitely for himself, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being in this program. It's my uh, pleasure. TV 5 wishes you the best. Thank you. And bonne chance de la part de TV 5 au long de, de cette yes, longue tournée. Merci David Bowie. Sitting here wishing on a sinner Just wishing that I had just something you wore I'd put it on when I go lonely Won't you take off your dress and send it to me
Votre magazine vous a été présenté par April International, l'assurance de votre santé à l'étranger.